So what we have when we when we add and when we substitute this into this place, what we're gonna have is two e to the power two x into four b. So after all the necessary algebraic simplification and all. 3a into 1 plus 4x then this equals the right hand side now the right hand side that we are given is 6x e to the power 2x so equals 6x e to the power 2x so now that's that that's that's what we have but then what you need to observe is that <clears throat> The coefficients here, what we have here is e to the power 2x, and we also have e to the power 2x. So what's left, we equate them to each other. That's going to be the coefficient of e to the power 2x. So it means like the coefficient of e to the power 2x on the left-hand side, that will be 2 into 4b plus 3a into 1 plus 4x equals 6x. So that, that that's, that's exactly what we have. And then when we expand this, we have... 8b plus 6a plus 24ax equals 6x plus 0. So I let me just rewrite this just for clarity sake. So it's like you have 24ax plus 8b plus 6a equals 6x plus plus 0. So the question of x here is 24a while the coefficient of x here is 6 and similarly when we check the other side the constant we have here is 8b plus 6a while the constant here is is a so we compare coefficients so the coefficient of x is 24a equals the coefficient here is 6 the constant here is 8b plus 6a while the constant here is 0 and then when we solve that simultaneous equation what we we'll have is so on solving we we'll have our a to be equal to 1 all over 4 and then our b to be equal to minus 3 all over 16 so we have gotten our a and then we have gotten our b so therefore our yp now which is the yp that I want to find yp equals our a which is 1 over 4 1 over 4x cubed plus b that is minus 3 all over 16 x squared e to the power 2x now that is your yp so therefore the general solution so let me just circle my yp as my particular solution and then we already have the complementary function here so the general solution, which is the sum of the complementary and the particular solution, would now be, so therefore, y, which is equal to the sum of the complementary and the particular solution, would now be how yc, which we had above, to be c1 e to the power negative 2x plus c2 e to the power 2x plus c3 x e to the power 2x. So that's for the complementary, then plus the particular solution, which is what we had here. And that's going to be 1 over 4 x cubed minus 3 over 16 x squared e to the power 2x. So that is the general solution of the differential equation. The non homogeneous differential equation that we're given, and then that completes the problem. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, drop your questions in the comment boxes that we have below.